In this presentation we are going to look at a hierarchical clustering with SPSS. We are using version 21. Full screen mode is advised when looking at YouTube. The data set we are going to use is called smallcluster.save and it is available at my website kobryandublin.wordpress.com. I might sort of make some uh, small variations to that but that is more or less how you will find them. Now essentially the procedure we are going to use is Analyze classify hierarchical cluster. Now, when we open SPSS, uh, I'll, I'll revert back to that. But let's just have a quick look at what we're going to do. A uh, couple of key points. What we're going to do first off is we're going to use the squared Euclidean distance. There's a couple of uh, different types of measures there. Uh, I'm just going to use the squared Euclidean distance only. There are a couple of different linkage methods. Now, the one I'm going to use first is the simple nearest neighbor, just to demonstrate something. But in general, one would use the uh, words link linkage. Uh, the reason is it'll become clear very shortly when we talk about the proximity matrix and the agglomeration schedule. I'm going to sort of focus in on those two things in particular in this presentation. So let's bring up SPSS. So give me a second there to open it up. There we go. Now, so here is the small cluster.save and uh, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to, we have the case names here, they're actually the names of dogs. We have the weight of the dogs and the height of the dogs. Now I'm not sure if these are uh, plausible weights and heights for dogs, but um, I just made up some numbers. So analyze, as I said before, we're going to classify and then we go to hierarchical cluster. So if you want to sort of pause and uh, for a second and just pause the video there, that's a good time to do that. So I'm going to click on that now. So uh, height and weight, those are our two numeric variables. I'm going to put them in there. And we are going to label the cases down here by name. So rather than have the case numbers 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on, we would have the names of the animals, the dogs. Now, uh, agglomeration schedule and proximity matrix. I'm going to include both of those. Uh, uh, there's a couple of other interesting things here, but I'm not going to deal with them in this particular presentation. I am going to, sorry, I'll start that again. I'm going to go to method. This is the method one would use. And I'm going to go to the nearest neighbor, or as I called it earlier, the simple nearest neighbor. And I'm going to use that as my cluster method. So essentially, uh, a nearest neighbor clustering method is that an item will get, the two nearest neighbors will get the, uh, uh, that are uh, currently unmerged will be uh, will be the next merger uh, when clustering. Uh, as I said before, we have the squared Euclidean distance. There's a couple of other measures there, but really I'm only going to deal with these two Euclidean and squared Euclidean. The squared Euclidean and the Euclidean are very similar, except the squared Euclidean is just uh, computationally easier to compute. Uh, uh, there's a couple of other interesting points there, uh, standardization and so on, but I'm not going to use them and uh, discuss them in this video. So, okay, let's move on from that. Now here's the output here, that's just the... So we have 18 cases, that's interesting. Now, here what we have is the proximity matrix. And down at the bottom it says this is a dissimilarity measure. So the higher uh, value between two uh, cases, the more dissimilar they are. Likewise, the smaller the value, the more similar they are. The less dissimilar, the more similar they are. So uh, we find that Beefy and Benny are reasonably similar dogs. In terms of squared Euclidean distance, there is a 4.229 difference between them. I think they are the two, one of the two closest dogs. Uh, but also you might also see down here uh, Champ uh, and Charlie, 0.438. Essentially that's what we're looking at. It's a matrix of all those. You might also notice that this matrix here is symmetric, 4.229. 50.255. The top row and the first column are actually identical. That's the, uh, and that's a necessary condition of a proximity matrix. Right. Uh, so what we have here is the uh, uh, the clustering, the agglomeration schedule. So what the SPSS will do, it would look at each particular case here and uh, determine which. Uh, two cases to uh, merge into a cluster in the first instance. So it actually in the first instance it would merge 16 and 17 um, 
Lemmy and Loco. Uh, they have a squared Euclidean distance of 0 0.225. Uh, then we would have uh, 9 and 10 that was Chewy and Chi Chi and 0 0.435 and so on. And uh, so these are the uh, squared Euclidean distance between each of the dogs. Okay. Now I want to make a very important point here. The reason we have these coefficients in particular, and the reason why they are identical to a couple of the, the a couple of the values in the uh, proximity matrix, is that we have chosen nearest neighbor as the linkage uh, method. Okay. So if one was to use a different linkage method, uh, the we would actually get di uh, coefficients that are different from uh, the proximity matrix. And the reason for that is that the uh, proximity matrix d determines the distance between each case, but the agglomeration schedule determines the sort of dissimilar dissimilarity between clusters. So you're not actually, these don't actually refer in the first instance to actual cluster, well, actually, in the, if for simple nearest neighbor, they do, but for ward linkage and other types of linkage, they actually don't. Okay, so that's why you might get very unfamiliar values here in coefficients. It's to do with the dissimilarity of the clusters, not the cases. Uh, okay, anyway, just as this is interesting here on the side as well, uh, these are uh, cluster one and cluster two. Uh, it's the stage it first appears, for example, uh, uh, 9, uh, just, uh, just here, this is like the first, uh, it just is it, uh, the first uh, instance that 9 appeared was in stage 2. He actually, it just actually refers back to when they were previously used and so on, the, the particular uh, items. And the next stage is when they will get, um, one of the, the cluster will get uh, called it again. So, for for example, cluster eleven, sorry, uh, the the sixteen and seventeen will become a cluster, and they will get joined at stage eleven when thirteen gets joined to sixteen and seventeen, because sixteen is the nearest neighbor to thirteen. Just down here, if you read that. All right, that is that's the uh, vertical vertical icicle plot. I'm not going to talk about that now. Okay, that ends our presentation.